The Maldives is famous for luxury resorts and the seaplanes. More than 80 twin otters with floats are transporting tourists between the main airport in Mala and the resort spread along the coral reefs. While a flight in a twin otter is one of the highlights for the tourists, the salt water represents a challenge for those maintaining the aircraft. Most metals corrode and salt makes it much worse. So how do they protect the seaplanes from the salt water? Hi, my name is Magne Nordahl, I'm an airline captain and instructor. Today we will have a look at the maintenance of the seaplanes operated by Maldivian seaplanes one or three seaplane operators in the Maldives. Every afternoon, when the aircraft has returned to the base in Mala, the maintenance staff will check the engines and other essential parts of the aircraft. And as you can see on these time lapse, they use fresh water to wash away salt from the wings. But this is not enough. When the aircraft has flown 125 hours, it's taken into the hangar and given a thorough inspection. The 125 hours inspection takes a couple of days. In the background is the fuselage of a twin otter undergoing heavy maintenance. We will come back to it soon, but first we will have a look at the engine. So we have the propeller hub here. Yes, it's quite small. How many horsepower? Uh, 670. Mm. Is this about the uh, governor or? Uh, this is the all the speed governor, and this is where the constant speed governor would sit. Ah, okay. And uh, this component right here is the techo techo Tachometer? generator for the propeller RPM. That's the RPM. Yeah, it's indicated in uh, percentage. Yeah. Just like in the APR, right? Yes. Yeah, it's the same manufacturer, in fact, but the engines are quite different. 
and the engine is in the opposite direction. Yeah. The exhaust, so you have the fuel nozzles here. Fuel nozzles, yeah. Yeah. And this Ig is that's the igniter? Yeah, that's the igniter. Okay, igniter there. Yeah. So it's well protected. Because if you get a um, bird in the air intake, it will not go into the engine. Mm. Maybe the feathers. Ah, uh, yeah. And also, also they have make sh they have ensured that nothing in between these two firewalls is smaller than these meshes. So uh -huh. Nothing that belongs to the engine is smaller than these meshes. It has to be something else. Yeah. It has to be a foreign object. Uh, yeah. This mm. fire lock. Yeah. Does That's the igniter. That's the ignition exciter. Yeah, exciter. Is yeah. What call it. And this is the oil cooler. Oh, the oil cooler will sit under here. Over there, and that's the oil cooler power actually. Yeah. Okay. And this is the starter generator. And those must be for oil? Oil, or? yeah. Oil and fuel. Yeah. So this is a combined starter generator? Yeah. Oh, it has a cooling fan. It has a cooling fan, yeah. It's about the same size as the ADR. Yes, in fact. And then you must have some fuel control. The FCU is removed. This is the fuel, engine driven fuel pump, and the FCU will be installed on, on the pump. Okay. Which is coupled. Yeah. So is this oil filter? Oh, that's the that's fuel, fuel filter. Fuel filter, yeah. Mm. And, uh, oops. These are the linkages. And you measure the oil level here? Uh, no, that's mm -hmm. the, that's, that's where the oil pressure transmitter is. Ah, okay. And here's another filter. Yeah, that's the filter. Mm -hmm. and, filter. and this is the P3A filter. And the oil kit is all here. Okay, we go back on that side. So that's on the top? Yeah. This must be a very long. <laughs> ah, there it is. Yeah, it is. Oil tank. Yeah, so you can sit on the wing. Yeah. And measure the oil. So measure the oil level. Hmm. Let's see. When you look at the engine this way, it doesn't look so bad. It's so complicated. On the ATR, it's quite. There's a lot. Yeah. Normally, a T-knot will have heavy maintenance every five years, but because of the salty environment, it's done every three years. The aircraft is stripped down, and every inch is inspected for corrosion, cracks, and other signs of wear and tear. This corroded area will be removed and replaced with new metal. The floats are more or less rebuilt. This is one of the wings. When the repair work is completed, the metal is painted with an anti-corrosion primer. After the primer is applied, the seams are covered with a sticky sealant. The wheels make it easier to move the fuselage to and from the paint shop next door. The fuselage is now painted and it's time to put the airplane together. Here is the left wing lifted into place. And here the engines have been installed. The floats are now ready and a few days later the entire airplane is completed. The dolphin on the tail is painted with the help of stencils. And now they have to install all the small parts. And then the aircraft will soon be like new. And this finishes the round trip of the hangar.
The seaplane is now ready to transport more happy tourists around Maldives. A big thank goes to the engineers who guided me around and show me how they keep the seaplanes flying. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and happy learning!